Good morning. Well, you've tripped right into the John Freitag channel and I'm John and this is what we're going to do today. So I got to build some shelves. We're working on a bar at the barbecue because we're putting in a brewery. As soon as we get our license, we'll be starting and that's exciting stuff, man. I can hardly wait. But anyway, so we're going to do a bar and what I got to do is flip these pieces over and paint the other side. All right, let's get painting. enough. That's one heavy coat. I guess I gotta clean a brush now. Mm, I hate cleaning brushes. All right, well, I got the paint job done. Boy, I laid it on there heavy though. <laughs> Probably take forever to dry in here, but it looks like it's starting. Uh, and it will dry and level out nice. I'm pretty confident of that. And it'll be good enough anyway, because guess what? This is the backside of the uh, shelves. This is the underside. So I think that's gonna work out okay. Anyway, let's take a look at this real quick. The Case 830, and what's got me in a holding pattern still? Yeah, you guessed it, injector pump. Cause I got the injector pump all tore apart, and I've got this one plunger with a busted gizmo on it. See, that's what it's supposed to look like with a little thing to hook into the retainer. That's what it's supposed to look like, and this one, it's gone. So we managed to break that off. That's in a couple other videos on this old 830 case farm tractor. So I'm not sure what to do. I would do want it to run right. I just don't want to spend 1500 bucks again on it. I'm already buried in this thing money-wise. So uh, I'd like to just find plungers and install them and then even the pump out. Half thinking about welding it. <laughs> so let me know what you think in the comments. Connor is dead set against it. And I think he's probably right. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments about welding a new nub on the bottom of this just so the retainer will hold it. Those springs aren't super strong. I mean, they don't go too fast, so I think it would hold, but I don't know. I don't know. It would be something I'd try. I, and another reason I would try it is because even if it popped apart, it would just get a skip. I don't think it would be a, wouldn't be a catastrophic disaster, you know, pop off on there and lose my spring retainer. It was not like it would suck a valve. Okay. Anyway, that's where I'm at. So leave comments, let me know. You know somebody you can do uh, injector pump rebuild or actually, do you know where I can get a barrel and plunger? And I've got this injector pump over here and we read the numbers because you can see the number on this one plunger and they're different. So, because I was thinking about taking it out of this pump, but I also don't want to destroy this pump. It's a good for the actual 830 engine, which was a 301 case engine whereas this is the 336 that's where i'm at on that anyway leave a comment and let me know what you think like share subscribe all that fun stuff we'll see you guys on the next one